I wanted to show you guys a cool project we got going on. So we do a lot of injection molds here, which is an upper and a lower. They shoot plastic in it, and uh, that's how you get your plastic parts for cars, uh, snowmobiles, various things or whatever. But this is a little different project we got going on today. It's um, actually aluminum die cast. For those of you who don't know, the way it works is they take uh, they smelt their aluminum, get it very hot when it's molded, and then pour it into these tools. And so that's how you get die cast aluminum parts. So it's kind of like the injection mold world, but instead of using plastic, they use uh, mold and aluminum. And that's how you get like uh, the inside of your steering wheel, inside of the plastic and leather wrap, it's all die cast aluminum. So it's an aluminum core. So these uh, projects here, it's for aluminum die cast instead of our usual plastic. So the steel we use for these blocks is called die bar. And it's not quite like um, the P20 we use for injection mold. Uh, it's a little bit tougher material because um, the aluminum die cast world wears out the steel a lot so it puts a lot of stress on the steel so we use a, a product called die bar it's not quite like uh, h13 or um uh, stainless but very uh, very tough and it holds up the aluminum very difficult to machine actually so we machine these blocks we got a, a few of them going on this is a core and a cavity or an upper and a lower as they say and we're uh, making these uh, a number of these for a customer in canada and um so i just want to share with you a little bit of the project we're using um actually rapid holding systems extensions to burn down into the deep cavity so this would be our rapid holdings extensions and rapid holding systems you hold we, uh, we would make the graphite and now we're burning whatever we couldn't machine we're burning the deep ribs into the cavity or stuff that we couldn't conventionally machine as far as these uh, these faces on the front if you guys have seen some of our other videos we use these hold downs and these hold downs are great they're compatible to uh, shunk or fcs and basically they bolt the blocks to our table so we put these spigots into the blocks and that's how we bolt them to our cnc machine so they're not only good for the bottom or the top of the blocks to bolt them to the table. But we actually, for this particular instance, we used it for a side mount for the boring mill. So you take these uh, M16 threaded screws and you, you thread it in the hole and there's a, a bore there that's, that's very precise that fits this ground bore. So once you screw these into the side of the block, you screw on these spigots into the side of the block and they fit precisely in these bore holes. With this spot face here, this is for our rapid holding system hold down unit. We would mount this to the table of our machine and then it allows us to drop the block right on our hold down units on the table. So in this case, we put four hold down units on the table and then we'd screw in these on the side. We take the block and mount on the side. Great, really rigid setup for uh, side work or even top work. So in this case, we had the spigots mount to the bottom and the side. So that's how we did all the top work. We mount them here. That's how we did all the boring mill work. So it's just a good way for us to process the blocks with uh, the rapid holding system hold down unit. So just uh, a cool project we have on the go. I thought I'd share with you guys from the die cast world. If you guys need anything done, let us know.